Hey there, Chad Boninger here for Ohio University Libraries. I've got tons of students who are currently researching the amusement park and theme park industry, and they are looking for demographics of people who visit a particular theme park. One of the best places to find the information is Simmons, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a demographic profile for people who visit certain theme parks in the industry. It's a great database to use for people who look for or buy particular products or who engage in particular activities or who have certain behaviors. So this is going to give you a, a basic understanding of how to create a basic demographic profile for your consumer. So let's get started. When you first log into Simmons, you're going to come to a page that looks just like this. And this is actually one of the more advanced uh, screens in Simmons. So we're going to start by going up under the Essentials tab at the top of the page and then clicking on Quick Reports. From here, it, it, uh, the demographic profile is automatically selected. So what we're going to do, uh, you can search for your topic right here in the middle. I actually prefer to go through and click on All here at the top and then click on the Dictionary tab to browse all the different kind of categories of the variables for which Simmons measures. And for this particular uh, example, for looking at uh, theme parks uh, and amusement parks, that kind of falls underneath the entertainment and leisure category. So we'll click on the arrow here to find entertainment and leisure. And if we scroll down, we're gonna scroll by all these different kind of entertainment and leisure categories that you can look at. But here at the very bottom, we have theme parks. So I'll select theme parks here and you get different variables here. This is just a question. The top one is just, have you been to a theme park in the last 12 months? Yes or no. You can look at that. Uh, this is the theme parks you visited the most um, in the last 12 months. That's the last 12 months MO there. This is the theme parks you've also visited in the last 12 months. This is the frequency in which you visited a certain theme park in the last 12 months. So, for example, one to two times, you know, three to five times, etc. So, for my example here, I'm just going to say which one. Uh, I'm going to get demographics of people who've been to a certain theme park the most in the last 12 months. So, I'll click on this. And so, now it gives us the options of all of the theme parks that they ask questions about in the survey. So, for my example, I will choose uh, Cedar Point, Ohio. And I see that we, we, it selects the variable here. Now, what I'm going to do is over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to click on Target. And that will move this variable down here to the bottom. Okay. If you don't do that, it's otherwise empty. Okay. So, we'll click it. It's going to we'll click on Target. It moves it down here. And once we click on Target, we now have an arrow that lights up and is available for us to click on Run the Analysis. So, we'll click Run the Analysis. And this gives us the demographic profile of people who said they, uh, in the survey, have visited in the 12, last 12 months Cedar, Cedar Point uh, the most. Okay, so we get, you know, general statistics including household income, education, race, etc. Okay, now notice for this particular example here, it's throwing some asterisks here. If we scroll down to the bottom, we see that this indicates that a cell count uh, is from 31 to 60. Projections may be unstable. And that's basically because if we scroll up, the overall sample size of, of the whole survey, now the whole Simmons survey is almost 25,000 people. But of that survey, only 224 people said they have visited um, Cedar Point the most, okay? Just because the, you know, they're, the, the survey size is, is overall kind of limited. You can still use this, but if it's throwing double asterisks for you, you wouldn't want to use that data. But this is this is probably okay to use, you know, for to get a general idea of um, your your demographic profile for that consumer. So hopefully this helped you understand how to use this. You can do this for all the different kinds of um, other other areas. So let's let's clear this out and let's start over. Let's try to do another one. Let's do demographic profile. And let's go down and look at um, our uh, entertainment leisure here. I went too far. There we go, entertainment leisure. And then go back down and look at theme parks. And then let's look at the most again. And, you know, Cedar Points in Ohio, it's probably not as um, well known as, say, for example, Disney World Magic Kingdom. So let's click on that one there. And you can see now our sample size is 775 versus 226, you know, because, you know, Magic Kingdom has a little bit more national reach. Uh, we'll click on the target. You'll notice the target down here is blank, right? So we'll click on the target, and that's going to pull uh, that variable down here. And then once again, we can go run our analysis and get some data there. 
So as we see here, as opposed to the uh, other example I showed you with Cedar Point, we see that we're only seeing uh, one variable down here with double asterisks, and that is because the sample size there is just 27. So basically of the whole survey of 24,804 people, only 27 people said, yes, I go to Disney uh, Magic Kingdom the most, and I have less than a high school diploma. So this is a variable we probably would not use because it has double asterisks, and the sample size falls below the count of 31. So I wouldn't use that variable, but everything else on here looks pretty good. Uh, we're, we're looking at some income levels that you might be questionable, but this is a good, uh, good way to kind of give you an overall uh, view of the demographics of a consumer of a particular theme park. So hopefully that helps you better understand how to use Simmons. And uh, it's a great tool to better understand the consumers of a particular product or people who engage in a particular activity. Hope this video helped you understand how to use Simmons to find demographic profiles for a particular consumer. If you need more help, check out my business guides. Take care.